Maple in Maine is one of our largest events that we do as an organization. It's the sixth year of it. Um, it's been very successful so far. Uh, Maple in Maine started off as really just a reinvention of a old art fair that the Arts Commission used to run 10 or 15 years ago. Um, we decided to bring it back and to have it be more than just an art fair, it's an art and music festival. Um, we have a live stage every year that has, this year I think we're up to about 13 musical acts performing on it. They perform throughout the weekend. And artist booths, local food trucks, so it's a place that people can come, stroll the nice quaint streets of Sylvania and um, see art, eat good food, listen to good music, and really just spend a great weekend with us here in Sylvania. I am a local artist and I have a business where I'm usually down at the Toledo Farmer's Market every Saturday and I do pottery specializing in garden and fairy garden objects and I like to do gardening objects because my mom was always into gardening and she always had a garden and I liked to make colorful objects. I use a lot of different color and I make things from gnomes to little frogs and houses uh, that you can put amongst your flowers and your plants just to add a little color to your garden and spruce it up a little bit. Uh, I make functional stoneware pottery, so most things in here have a function. Some of it is decorative, like to the side. Um, but overall, I just try and make things that have purpose in life, because uh, a lot of times you find yourself with stuff that doesn't really have purpose in your house. And I try and keep things that have a purpose, so you don't have a lot of clutter. <laughs> These are wood carvings of birds. That's all I carve are birds. I didn't realize until a few years ago, when I was looking through some old books, that my mother had bought me, I love you to cry, my mother had bought me a book when I was a teenager about birds. I love birds, love mother too, so I just love birds. I find them interesting. I said, when I die, I want to be an eagle. I, I, you know, I just, I just love birds, that's all. One of the great things about Maple and Maine is that, you know, we're talking about an art fair that's taking place over the course of a couple of blocks in downtown Sylvania. So you really get to meet the artists that you're walking past. It's not like you have to spend all day exploring what we have to offer. You can come down here for a couple of hours and get to meet some really great artists. And because it's a nice, intimate show, you get the opportunity to talk to them and hear their stories. Junior year in high school, I took ceramics class and I kind of went on from there. I was like, oh, I'm going to make pots for a living, and then, well, here I am. Well, it's nice being able to make money other than, you know, slaving away. I mean, granted, it is hard work sometimes, but aside from that, it's nice just being able to make what I, make what I like and make money from it and not have to have a nine-to-five job like most people do. And granted, they enjoy it, but I think I enjoy this more than most people enjoy their jobs. So it's, it's nice. It's nice. the smiles on people's faces, especially the children. You know, they'll come up to the table and they they smile. Everyone smiles when they see a bird. It's that's that's the part even if I don't sell them. That's the part that I find uh let me see really encouraging to keep doing what I'm doing. year somehow we draw this group of artists who really want to share who they are with you come on down take the opportunity hear their stories kind of explore what Sylvania is um, you know when we have events like this whether it's during Maple and Maine or the Redbird First Friday Art Walks our businesses want to get involved with the community they want to get to know who you are they want to know your name you know as silly as those kind of things are it does make it a better place to live and makes you feel like you're more a part of the community we're a great place to live, we're a great community, there's so many different things to do and if people just want to learn something new or explore something different, reach out to us because we've got opportunities for people to explore the arts in different ways.